Fast Keys allows you to perform automatic mouse clicks anywhere on the screen. In one of our previous tutorials, we've learned how to simulate Tab Key to automate filling in the forms. Unfortunately, not all controls are accessible by pressing a Tab Key. So let me show you an alternative way. I use this page often to enter certain data. After that, I typically need to press this Submit button to save. The only way to access the button is by clicking it, and FastKeys can do it for me. Here, I already have a short phrase that I use for filling in a few fields on the form. Now to click the button at the end, I'll go to Automation and select Control-Click Macro. As always, I need to give the macro a name, then I'll select Mode, position X, Y, as I want to click on a specific location on the screen. To find the exact coordinates of the button, I'll right click Fast Keys tray icon and open Window Information Tool. This tool is really handy to find different information about open windows. So you see, by moving the mouse, I get the position of the mouse information here. When I'm on the right position, I'll press Window plus A to pause. And now I'll type in the correct coordinates I need for a click. OK to save the macro. I'll try and see if it works. Yes, the cursor was moved to the correct position and the button was clicked. Now, you'll say, if I move the window, the button position will change. So this isn't very helpful. And you're right. In such cases, I need to change the mode to position window instead. This way, the coordinates will be relative to the active window instead of the entire screen. Window Information Tool has this info too. So I'll enter this window relative coordinates. You see, now the button is clicked regardless of where my window is positioned on the desktop. Even more, I can specify the name of the window on which the click will be performed even if the window isn't currently in focus. To do this, you can simply specify the window name or class here. Of course, you could simulate right clicks or even double clicks. We have some other options too. If I set a mode to control, I can specify the name or class of the control that I want to click on instead of coordinates. The control is any element on the application window like a button, entry field, and so on. Again, I can find the control names or classes by using Window Information Tool. Unfortunately, this doesn't always work in all browsers, but it may be a great option in some classic Windows applications. But can you imagine the possibilities with automating the mouse clicks? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you like this quick tutorial, and as always, please check Fast Keys from the links below and subscribe to our automation channel so you don't miss future computer automation tips and tricks. Thank you so much. And check out publicdynamics.com if you haven't to learn more about my public speaking coaching, helping people empower their speaking to feel prepared, polished, and powerful every time they speak. Thanks, and take care. <music>